Hello, everybody. What a week we're having. It is so close. Some great quizzing going on. Some very, very competitive quizzing going on as well. Some needle going on as well. That's what we all like. And then normally that happens by Friday. It's happened by Wednesday this time. <laughs> um, shall we meet our four players who are battling it out for this trophy right here? They are Johnny Cochran, <laughs> Shobna Galati, Dermot Murnahan, <laughs> and Laura Smith. Whoa! Whoa, what a week. First thing I'm going to do before we do anything, I'm going to take a look at the weekly leaderboards because we have three players absolutely tied at the top. Laura, Dermot and Johnny, all with six points there. Laura, yeah. two shows in a row now. You've gone into quite a big lead both times. You clearly know your business. You know your way around a quiz. You're in stand-up seat four. Yeah. And both times you've given away points in Answer Smash. Surely today is the day. It's got to be that I feel like, yeah, I've got to find my groove, haven't I? Sure, well, I mean, I'm in the groove. It's just I've, it's that polite, polite, generous, give it to the guys at the last minute I've done. You really, <laughs> really have. Mm. And it, on a silver platter. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Dermot. But Dermot, you played so well yesterday. The round with the dates, all sorts of things, and you held in on that final round for a win. How did that feel? Um, that felt very good, but a bit tactical, because when, you, when you're holding on to a lead in Answer Smash, you're so aware yeah. that if you get it wrong, it's double jeopardy. So, yeah, just got across the line. You essentially sat there while everyone lost points around you. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Which is very nicely done. Uh, Shobna, we've given away two prizes already this week. Johnny has won a planter and Dermot has won a dartboard. Would you like to take a look at today's I'd prizes? I'd like to take a look. Today you could win the deck chair, the water bottle, the birdhouse. There's the cushion or the scented candle. Mm. What do we think? Birdhouse is cute. Birdhouse I've seen is that really before. cute. I've got a little robin that comes to visit me in my Have garden. You? They'd like the birdhouse, I think. So you go birdhouse. Uh, Johnny? Uh, I'd go for the deck chair. I'd just imagine myself on a beach somewhere, living it up with that chair. And you people... take that. You take it to the beach with you. Oh, of course you. Yeah, you pack to. it. You pack it. To. Take it to the beach with you. Because want... famously, it's the one place it's difficult to get a deck chair. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I wouldn't want people thinking, oh, I'm just a normal quizzer. No, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> oh no, I've, I want to die. I want a Wednesday, my friend. I'm quite I a big Wednesday. deal here. Yeah, back yeah. off. This is where I am. Uh, Dermot, dartboard yesterday. Today? Well, I think the deck chair then to relax after a, a hard day at the hockey. Yeah. yeah, definitely. <laughs> Lovely. Now, Laura, today's your day. I know. I can just feel it. Oh. Um, what, what would you uh, What would you like to win? Yeah, the deck chairs raise the stakes even higher. Raise for me. the stake. Mm. Deck chair Wednesday. Yes. Um, shall we? Once again, it's been we very, shall. very close. There's a lot going on. Let's find out what's going to happen as I press this buzzer. Our first round is. <laughs> Answers in the question are oh. going to go along the line. Johnny, I'll start with you. Uh, we have a category, which is desserts. So I'm looking for the name of a dessert. The answer, there'll be some capital letters in the question, and the answer will be an anagram of those. So what dessert, Johnny, is this? It is a rum do when a trattoria's menu doesn't include this most Italian of desserts. Tiramisu? It's absolutely right. Um, Shona, a dessert for you. I assumed this dessert was served daily at the school it's named after, but it seems not. Oh. Look at Murnahan going straight on his... and Smith and Cochrane. Oh, dessert... All three of them. Shona, what do we think? Eat and mess. Eat and mess. <laughs> it is. Anagram seems not. Well played, Shona. Dermot, I have a dessert for you. Some people are prepared to share this dish of shoe buns in chocolate sauce, but I prefer it solo. Profiteroles. Profiteroles. It is profiteroles. Well done. Uh, and Laura, our fourth dessert of the day. You've got me. Yep, I like this dessert from Florida more than any other. Oh. I think I actually do. I think this might be my favourite dessert. What do we think, Laura? Key lime pie. It is key lime pie. Well played, Laura. We all got our desserts there, our just desserts. <laughs> uh, Johnny, we come back to you. We have yep. a different category. No more desserts. Oh, OK. Shakespeare characters. 
Here's your first one. According to legend, this queen was smuggled to her future lover, rolled in a carpet. Lo, there she was when it was unfurled. Cleopatra? Cleopatra, coming at you. <laughs> <laughs> it is Cleopatra, well done. Shovna, you've done some Shakespeare, surely. I have indeed. In your time. Let's see if you play to whoever this is. If you see this character chat madly, be wary. She's probably just hatched a murderous plan. Lady Macbeth. Lady Macbeth. It is Lady Macbeth. You ever played Lady Macbeth? I'd like to. <laughs> I think I'm of an age where I can play both of those ladies. Yeah, now. you're absolutely in the sweet spot of Cleopatra and Lady Macbeth. <laughs> I am. Uh, Dermot, okay. a Shakespearean character for you. Although the violence unleashed by the return of this title character to Rome might cause some to regard his play as unsound, artistic merit may redeem it. Well, there's a lot going on in this that question. title character to Rome? Julius Caesar? No. So we time you out. Chauvinist's going to go for it, I think. Or we'll time you out, Dermot. <laughs> Laura buzzes in before Chauvinist. Titan Andronicus. I'm going to say it, I've said it, it is wrong. It's not Titan Andronicus, I'm afraid. Oh, that's not fair. Shovna. It's Titus Andronicus. Titus Andronicus <laughs> is the name. Titus Andronicus. Well played, Shovna. Nicely done. Um, Laura, a Shakespearean character for you, but which character? If you ever get to say hello to Seleni Henry or Tuatel Edgier for, you could also congratulate them on their portrayals of this tragic character. Othello. That doesn't feel like the hardest. No, no, no. <laughs> it is Othello, Laura. Well played. That's the end of our first round. Let's see our leaderboard. Something interesting on this leaderboard, Shobna. <laughs> I'll tell you that for nothing. <laughs> yeah, let's take a look at it. Yesterday's champion, Derma, is in last place. Oh, wow. Shobna <laughs> is in first place. Well done. Three a points to Shobna Yeah, a little bit of Shakespeare. <laughs> what what you're waiting for. It's all you needed was an eaten mess and some Shakespeare. <laughs> Let's play a pairs game, shall we? Our pairs game on Wednesday's House of Games is going to be... <laughs> Richard Osman's Blank of Blanks. Dermot, you're in fourth place, so you get to choose your partner. Who would you like to play with? Well, we did so well before our... Want to go with uh, Shobna? You're playing with Shobna again. It did work very nicely mm. last time. So, Shobna and Laura, if you will swap places, please. <laughs> Laura, welcome down to the southern end of the studio oh, for the first well, time. Yeah. Hello, hello. Laura and Johnny, we're going to ask you a question. Dermot and Shobna, if you'll take your tablets out, please, we're going to show you the question we're about to ask. Johnny and Laura, you will both be allowed to blank out one word in that question to try and make it more obscure. Wow. OK? Mm. You can't confer, oh, so can't it may confer. well be ah. that you blank out the same word. Uh, but if you can uh, blank out two words, you're going to make the question particularly difficult. So, Dermot and Shobna, the question is on your uh, tablets now. If you could each blank out a word from that question, please. OK, so, Johnny and Laura, you've got a question. It'll have at least one word blanked out. Will it have two? Your question is... Oh, it's got two words blanked oh. out. Oh. The blank national holiday known as... <laughs> That's really good blanking from, uh, <laughs> from Dermot and Chauvin. The blank national holiday known as Blank Day is celebrated in which month? Can you think of something that's specific May Day? to a country? May Day, but, but that's... Is the American? It, I thought of Groundhog Day for some reason. Mm. The American National Day. Or Independence Day. Labour Day. Independence Day. Day. I feel like it might be an Independence Day. Which is July. I mean, we are guessing it. They've, they've done well there. So well done, guys. Yeah, 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 really, well done. I'm really enjoying it at the moment. That's anyway, same month. Well, do we know? Is it known as Independence Day? I suppose it is. Yeah. Do you want to go for that, July? Yeah. Going to go for July. So you mm. think it's American national holiday known as Independence Day. What do you reckon at home is the answer to whatever this question is? July. <gasps> it is <laughs> July. Right after yeah, yeah. wrong reasons. <laughs> oh, really? Is it French and Bastille? Yeah. yeah. Oh, 
Oh, oh wow. But it's also July. Name July. <laughs> so very oh. nicely done. Nice. The French national nice. holiday known you, as Bastille baby. Day <laughs> is celebrating which month? It is July. That's, uh, do you know what? You could not play that any better. <laughs> Got it. And you could not be any <laughs> luckier. <laughs> very well done. Need a bit um, of luck. Uh, Johnny and Laura, if you will take a tablet out, you'll see Dermot and Shobner's question. Blank out a word each. I think you need to blank out and, yeah. Johnny, if you... <laughs> Maybe the full stop. Don't let him get in your head, babes. <laughs> He's on the horns of a dilemma, Johnny Cochran. OK, Dermot and Shobna, shall we take a look at your question? See how much has been blanked out? Oh, well done. In Greek mythology, the blank was a creature with the body of a blank and the head of which animal? It's got to be a minotaur. It's a minotaur. It's a man and a... Horse? Horse, yeah. Man and a horse, yeah. Do you think? Yeah. The minotaur was a creature with the body of a man. And the head, head of, of a... Which no, hold on. Horse. No, hold on. The body of a horse. Yeah, I'm trying to work body, out. Body, oh, yeah. body of a, a horse. horse. and the head of... And the head of a... Human. Man. Yeah, yeah well, human. We're yeah, a human. Should we go for human? Are so we going human? Yeah. As the Let's animal? Do it. Is human the answer? <laughs> it is not the answer. So, Laura and Johnny, we can unveil the questions. You know it already, oh. and you can give an answer. So, in Greek mythology, <laughs> the Minotaur was a creature with the body of a human... Oh, it's the other and one. the head of a horse. Yeah. Yeah. A horse. Oh, you've cleverly not given them the answer as well, there, uh, Shobner. Yeah, it one. was. Yeah. A bull oh, was the answer was. we were looking for. They were for. throwing me. I was like, yeah, of course. Oh, okay the then. Uh, Shobner, Dermot, uh, we have another question for well, Johnny and Laura. Mm. If you could try and blank out one of these words. OK, so, Johnny and Laura, I have a question for you. It'll have at least one word blanked out. Will it have two? Just the one. Which author wrote stories for children featuring Owl, Blank and the Woozles? My weakest stuff is literature, really is. The wording of that question seems to me that they weren't somebody that typically wrote children for story, wrote stories for children, but they did in this case, if you see what I mean. OK. That, don't you feel like it, it's not which children's author wrote? I know what you mean. Do you see what I mean? But I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily assume that. Do you know this at home? Enid you know Blyton wrote all the faraway trees and all things like that. I just don't know it, I'm afraid. Oh, th I mean, that's all I've got. Um, Enid Blyton, I'm going to go. I have no idea. We're going to go Enid Blyton? We do not know, that's for sure. Do you know at home? Have you worked it out? Do you know the woozles? Um, is Enid Blyton the right answer? Not the right answer. Dermot and Shobna, you have a chance to get a point here. Let's uh, see the full question. It's Winnie the Pooh, isn't it? it? Oh, oh, I tell you what, if glitch. you're going to blank one word, yeah. that that's it. the one to do. So what do we think? A.A. A.A. Milne. Oh, of course. If I had known that, I'd have still got it wrong. Oh, yeah. very, very <laughs> nice. A.A. Milne. Well done. I tell you, sometimes just the one blank needed. Very well played. Well done if you got it at home, though. Laura and Johnny, final question of the round. You can blank out a word each. Mm. But which word are you going to blank out? One final question in this round, one more chance to get a point. Johnny and Laura thinking about what to blank out. This must be a tough question. Their faces are amazing. This is a tricky one. It's really tricky. I just think it's very easy. Mm. Oh. Interesting. OK, everyone is in. Right. Dermot well, uh, and Shobner, you have a question with one or more words blanked out. Here's your question. Two words blanked out. Oh, Which British base. motorway is around 190 miles long and runs west from blank to south blank? That's, That's good. That's got to be from London to South Wales, and it's the M4. Yeah, it's the M4. Wow. I mean, it's the only one, one that runs yeah. west. To south well, the M3, hold on a minute. No, the M3. The M3 kind of runs southwest. Yeah, so it runs west. That's west west. Yeah. Once south from to London south. to South, south Wales. Wales. Yeah. Go with that? Yeah, I agree. 
So you're going to M... M4. M4. Oh. Is M4 the correct answer? It is the correct <laughs> answer. <laughs> well, we can do yeah. anything. I I'm delighted we picked them words. No, yeah. Don't. Realistically, so there's if you nothing left any we place could... name in, we'd have got it, yeah. West yeah. or South, uh, there's just, you know, there was just nothing. That's the end of that round. Chauvinor and Laura, if you will swap back, please. <laughs> Welcome back, Chauvinor. Let's take a look at our leaderboard, shall we? I think it's still good news for Chauvinor. Let's take a look. Mm. Everybody has three, apart from Shobna, who has five. How about that? It's all right, isn't it? It's all right. Yeah, you take that. Three rounds to go. Let's take a look at our next one, shall we? It is... Well done. If you said that at home, this is a round that our viewers at home help us with. We sent to our viewers the names of some films, and they sent us back three words they'd associate with that film. OK, you're going to see a word cloud now of all the words that they gave us. It'll start from the very obscure ones and they'll get bigger and bigger and bigger as uh, they're uh, more obvious. So thank you at home for everyone who did it. I put things out on Twitter and you get emailed, so if you uh, keep an eye out for it. So which film are our viewers at home describing here? Dysfunctional American Laura. Simpsons? No, nope, it is not, I'm afraid. Music, siblings, comedy, hair, click, mansion, black. Yes, that's Johnny. Uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Outcasts, kooky, monsters, macabre, haunted, oh. creepy. There are no more words to come, Dermot. The Adams Family? The Adams Family. Oh. It is the Adams Family. Well done. Great, it is. The Adams Family. In this round, people always buzz in too early. Next film is this. Wow, Adversity Train. Adversity Train Toilet. I've been in a few of those. <laughs> TV, romance, memory, cricket, answers, flashback. TV winner, serendipitous Laura. Slumdog Millionaire? Slumdog Millionaire, must be. It is Slumdog Millionaire, well done. Quiz Bollywood India game show, Slumdog Millionaire. Next film. Diary Bizarre. Cherish Death Fantasy Love. Weird novel, romance tugboat. Johnny. Forrest Gump? Is it Forrest Gump? It is not, I'm afraid. Tugboat doesn't lead you somewhere, doesn't it? Louisiana, baby. Age old reverse. Yes, Laura. Curious case of Benjamin Button? Let's take a look. It is Thank the curious know. case of Benjamin Button. Well played, Laura. Uh, we move now on to some books. Which books are these described by our viewers? <laughs> Adapted. Broadway. Orphan. Yes, Shona. Annie. Annie? It is not, I'm afraid. Love, history. Yes, Laura. Oliver. Oliver? It is not, I'm afraid. Poverty, rebellion. Owen. Sewers, prisoner. Johnny. Is it Les Miserables? It is Les Miserables. Well done. Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. Next book. Ears. OK. Danger Ears. Fighting Grass Bright. Road. Anthropomorphism. Don't say that often. Mixomatosis. Yes, Dermot. Watership Down. Must be, must not it? Watership Down. Is the right answer? I was going to say if it's mixomatosis and anthropomorphism, <laughs> it's it's it's, <laughs> not, Jane, is it's it. not Jane Eyre, is it? Mm -hmm. Watership down, rabbits, Garfunkel. Look at that, sad. <laughs> oh, uh, final one. <laughs> Dark angst drama. Old family brooding. Orion. Yes, Dermot. Jane Eyre. Is it Jane Eyre? It is oh, Jane Eyre. Well Absolutely right. 
I've literally just said, it's not Jane Eyre, is it, when Mixed Matusis came out? How funny. Uh, it is Jane Eyre. Well played, um, a very early buzz there. Garvaness up the uh, top there. It's the end of the round. This leaderboard is going to be very close indeed, I think. We've got two rounds to go on Wednesday's House of Games. Johnny won on Monday and a tie break with Laura Dermott won on Tuesday. Look at that. Two points between the lot of you. From Johnny on four up to our new leader, Dermot, with six. <laughs> Two rounds to go. Who is going to win on Wednesday? Could be any one of the four of them. Our next round is... <laughs> Name tag. Now, in this round, I'll ask you a series of questions. The questions will have a name in the answer. When you give me the answer, I want you to replace the name of the answer with one of your opponents. So, replace the name in this first question. Things on buzzers, everybody with one of your opponents. Dogs called Petra, Shep and Patch were pets on which BBC children's programme first broadcast in 1958? <laughs> yes, that's Dermot. Blue Schobner. Blue Schobner? It is Blue Peter that comes with Blue Schobner. And Schobner, the next question goes to you alone. OK. OK. Which 1988 film about a diamond heist stars John Cleese, Jamie Lee Curtis and Kevin Klein? So, Shobna, what do you think? A fish called Dermot. <laughs> oh! A fish see. called Dermot <laughs> It's the right answer. A fish called Wanda becomes a fish called Dermot. Dermot is now your question. Which 1988 film featuring a mix of live action and animation stars Bob Hoskins as a detective who falls for Jessica, voiced by Kathleen Turner? Johnny Rabbit, who killed Johnny in Rabbit. Oh, is incorrect. I'm afraid anyone will buzz in. That is Johnny. Who killed Shaven the Rabbit? Is incorrect as well, I'm afraid. Yes, Laura. Who framed Johnny Rabbit? Who framed Johnny Rabbit we were looking for? Who framed Roger Rabbit because who framed Johnny Rabbit? Johnny, it's your question. Here's your chance for a point. Which 1950s sitcom starred Lucille Ball as an aspiring performer married to a band leader? Mm. Schobner and Laura both on the buzzer. Dermot on the buzzer as well. Mm. Should we time you out? I don't know. No. no. As soon as that goes red, we've got a buzzer race. <laughs> Laura wins the buzzer race. I love Schobner. I love Schobner, absolutely. I love Lucy becomes I love Schobner. <laughs> Shona, you have a question now. What is the two-word name for a revolving table stand containing condiments? Party Johnny. The party Johnny? Mm. Is incorrect, I'm afraid. <laughs> Laura. Lazy Shobna. Lazy Shobna. <laughs> it is. Lazy Susan becomes Lazy Shobna. I thought it was a party Susan <laughs> for some reason. A party Susan, that's, that's different. Next one, Shobna, this is for you. In the novel Treasure Island, what is the name of the ship's cook? A resourceful pirate with a parrot and a wooden leg. I can see the resourceful pirate with the parrot. And... What's his name? Should we time you out? Yes, you'll have to. I'll time you out. We've got a buzzer race on our hands. Laura. Long Shobna Silver. Long Shobna Silver is yeah. right. Long John I'm, I'm Silver. Trying to, I'm trying to help you. Long I Shobna know. Silver. <laughs> Final question in this round. The first Norman King of England is commonly known by which three-word nickname? Oh. Um... Laura the Conqueror. Laura the Conqueror? Is aptly, that was exactly the right word. Well done. Show me you get a point. Laura, you get yourself a free point there as well oh. by uh, being nominated at the end. I think fair enough. Yeah. Um, well played, everybody. It's the end of that round. Let's take a look at our leaderboard with one round to go on Wednesday's House of Games. It's looking good for Laura. Three point lead going into answer question. Now, come on. This time you can do it, I'm sure. Shall we play our final round? It is, of course. After smash. Now, it's been Laura's downfall all week. Is she going to do it? She's got a three-point lead. Surely today's the day. Let's find out, shall we? Fingers on buzzers. Point for a correct answer. Point off for an incorrect answer. Your first category is... TV presenters. Those will be the pictures. 
The wall across northern England that was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987 is named after which Roman emperor? Is that is Dermot. I'm going to need Hadrian's to Charles. It's incorrect, I'm afraid. Mm. Yes, Shobna. Hadrian's Wall Charles. It is incorrect, I'm afraid. Mm. Yes, Laura. Hadrian Charles. Hadrian Charles, we're looking oh, for. It's named okay. after which emperor? Hadrian, we were looking for. Oh, oh, we weren't, yeah. weren't looking for the name of the wall. We were looking for the name of the emperor. Hadrian, Adrian Charles, Hadrian Charles. Next question, next picture. The paired kettle drums in an orchestra are commonly known by what Italian name? Yes, Dermot. Timpani Tarani. It is Timpani Tarani. Well done, Dermot. Timpani. Anita Rani, Timpani Tarani. Next question, next TV presenter. Which singer-songwriter had UK top ten hits with Uptown Girl and We Didn't Start the Fire? Johnny. Billy Joel Domit. It is Billy Joel, Joel Domit. Billy Joel Domit. Next category. Activities. Those will be the pictures. What is the first name of the character played by Lisa Kudrow in the sitcom Friends? Yes, Johnny. Phoebe Keeping. It is Phoebe Keeping. Well done. Phoebe and beekeeping. Phoebe Keeping. Next question, next picture. Which blues musician born McKinley Morganfield is known by his boyhood nickname from a habit of playing in dirt and puddles? Yes, Dermot. Muddy water skiing. It is muddy waters and water skiing, muddy water skiing. Next question, next activity. In which 80s sitcom did Sue Pollard play Peggy, a chalet maid at Maplin's holiday camp? Yes, Dermot. Heidi hiking. Heidi hiking? <laughs> Heidi hiking. <laughs> Absolutely, Heidi high and hiking. Uh, any more for any more? There are no oh, lovely oh, finish by Dermot. Surely she's done it, though. <laughs> Surely. I really kept my core. Cool. Hey, she really, <laughs> really did. Rarely will a win have ever been so more hard won. Uh, on Monday, our champion was Johnny. On Tuesday, our champion was Dermot. On Wednesday, our champion... ..is Laura Smith. Well done, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely <Adrian>. done. Yeah. <laughs> oh. See, good things come to those who wait, Laura. <laughs> Very nicely done. You've won yourself a prize. Have I ever? Which prize would you like? Deck chair. Going deck chair. Laura Smith wins the house again. Deck chair. Very well done. <laughs> Let's take a look at our weekly leaderboard now. One point clear from Dermot, two points <sighs> clear from Johnny. Well played, Laura. Two days to go. We've got double points Friday coming up as well. All to play for. Shall we do it again tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> see you here on Thursday. We'll see you here on Thursday as well on the House of Games. Is, it's only you can only show off if you're not sitting in it. <laughs> and we have to get a deck chair to sit next to it like yeah, that. Exactly. <laughs> so you're pointing at it. Yeah, yeah.